everyone. Today we're going to make chicken pot pie. I'm using a recipe that I found online on a blog called Tornado Alley. And what I liked about this recipe is that instead of using a pie crust, she uses a biscuit topping that she kind of just dollops over the chicken pot pie filling. So stay tuned to see whether I nail it or whether I fail it. All right, so first things first, we are going to saute the onions and the garlic in a saucepan. I'm actually going to saute it in the casserole that I'm going to be baking the chicken pot pot in so that I don't have to do a lot of dishes because I'm really lazy. So I've got one purple onion here, but you can use a white onion or a yellow onion if you wanted, but I'm using a purple onion just because I like the colors. And now we are going to chop up our garlic cloves. I've got two cloves of garlic here and I'm just going to smash it. Makes it easier to get the skin off. Okay, so once we've chopped up the onions and garlic, we can go ahead and toss that into our saucepan here. So just start off with the onions first because if you were to add the onions and the garlic, the garlic will probably heat up faster and it'll burn and you do not want that. So we will just let this cook for a couple of minutes just until the onions get softened. Throw in our garlic. Let that get all nice and delicious. So I've got two celery stalks and two carrots, which I've just kind of finely diced. And I'm gonna add that to our pan of onions and garlic. Let's chop up some of our mushrooms. All right, so now we are gonna add in our mushrooms. Right, so gonna let that cook away. And then we can start chopping up our herbs. I've got some sage here. So I've got some rosemary. I'm just gonna take this off the stem. Just chop all that up. And we're gonna toss that, oops, to our pan. Then we're gonna add our thyme and we're just gonna put that directly in here kind of pull it off the stem. Mm -mm, that smells yummy. Quarter cup of butter goes in. There. So we're letting that butter melt. Then I'm gonna get our flour ready. We need a third of a cup of flour. So we're gonna mix the butter and the flour together and it's gonna form a little bit of a paste. And then we're gonna add in the liquid, in this case, combination of milk and chicken stock. And then we're gonna cook that up and the flour, or that flour paste is gonna bind and it's gonna make the sauce all nice and thick so our pot pie doesn't get all gross and soupy. We need one and three quarters of a cup of chicken stock. I only have one cup of chicken stock. So what I'm gonna do is I will just fill up the remainder of the volume with some white wine. So let's do two cups of liquid in total. So we stir that right in. And then we are going to add half a cup of milk to this. Right, get some milk. So half a cup of milk. It's gonna use that same measuring cup because I don't wanna do dishes. So that's one cup. So I think that's half a cup. That looks about right. And then in you go. And we can season this with salt and pepper. And we are going to stir in our frozen peas. We need one cup of frozen peas. I had a combination of frozen peas, frozen corn, and frozen green beans, so I'm just gonna toss it all in because why not? More veggies, the better, right? 
and then we are going to stir in our chicken. I'm gonna to toss that in there and let that cook through. All right, so we are just going to put that aside, take that off the heat, and then now we can work on our biscuit topping. Two cups of flour. We've got one cup, and then we've got two cups. Half a teaspoon of salt. I'm just gonna use my hands, just a good generous pinch. Baking soda, one teaspoon. One tablespoon of baking powder. Half a tablespoon of sugar. So I've got half a cup of butter here. And we are just going to cut this into our mixture. So let's cut these into little chunks. It'll make it easier to incorporate into our flour. So for this process, you can use either two forks or you can use a pastry blender. I'm just gonna use my hands because it's a lot easier for me and I don't have to do dishes. So basically how this works is you just want to crumble the butter and the flour together. So just pick it up and kind of run your fingers through it. And what that does is it cuts the butter into the flour and you want it to look kind of like coarse breadcrumbs or the consistency of damp sand is what you're looking for. You still want to have some chunks of butter visible because that's what makes these biscuits flaky. But you don't want big chunks of butter because then it's just going to melt all over the place and you don't want that. You still have a couple of chunks of butter visible. But when you squeeze the flour together with your hands, it kind of has a consistency of damp sand in the sense that it kind of melds together like that but crumbles easily. So now that that is done, we are going to add in our cheese, because these are cheddar biscuits, our cheese and our buttermilk. So we need one cup of cheese. I've got some extra thyme. I think thyme would taste pretty good. So the original recipe doesn't call for herbs, but since I have it, I thought, why not? Right, so we've got some basil in here. And then, We'll put in some parsley. So we chop up those herbs and we add it to our flour mixture. And once that's in, we can just give that a good toss. And then now we are going to put in our buttermilk. So the secret to a good biscuit dough is you don't want to overmix it because that's what makes the biscuits tough. Now for the fun part. We get to dollop the biscuit batter over our pot pie. So we basically covered our chicken filling with our biscuit batter. And then we bake this in our preheated 400 degree oven for 20 minutes. And then it's time to eat. And then we set our timer for 20 minutes. And then done. Okay, 20 minutes is up. Let's take our chicken pot pie out of the oven. So you can see that the biscuit dough has expanded and is more or less covered up. The chicken filling, sprinkle over some herbs and chicken pot pie is done. Let's eat. Overall, this was an easy recipe that produced a delicious chicken pot pie. I did make some changes to the original recipe by using carrots and celery instead of squash, adding some white wine to the filling, using a combination of frozen veggies, and adding herbs to the biscuit dough. If I were to make this again, which I definitely will, I'd up the chicken stock to about two and a half cups because I like my filling a little bit more on the saucy side. I think it turned out really well, but what do my friends think? Okay guys, so what do you think? Did I nail it or did I fail it? Oh, nailed it. Definitely nailed it. Yay! <laughs> well, that's it for chicken pot pie, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching. We'll see you next time. Bye! I'm going to show that my plate was empty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's how good it was. I don't know how to start. Should I just be like, hi everyone? Hi.
today we are going to learn how to make chicken pot pie. <laughs> Hi, thank, welcome back. Maybe I should actually look at the recipe to make sure I know what I'm doing. Huh? Flower. A flower is what you smell. Flower, not flour. <laughs> what did you say? Flower. Flour? Flour. Flour. No. <laughs> <laughs> A flower is what you smell. Flour is what you cook with. So you can see that, <laughs> where are you going? <laughs> I'm gonna bring it to you. Okay. 